Donald Trump gets hit with his third indictment yesterday, and this is by far the most serious indictment. It has to do with Donald Trump trying to overturn a fair and honest election and trying to overthrow our country. Yeah, that sounds pretty fucking serious. But his lawyers are out trying to defend it already. They're saying, First Amendment, he can say anything. Oh my God, he can say anything. Well, Jack Smith anticipated that, and in the indictment, he very specifically said, this isn't about what Donald Trump said, it's about what Donald Trump did. So that particular defense is out the window. That's not to say Donald Trump and his lawyers will try to use it, because that's all they have. One other thing they want to do is try to change venue. You know, we should have it in West Virginia. Well, of course, West Virginia. It's a Republican state. But you know what? They rarely, if ever, change venues. The crime was committed in Washington, D.C. If you're worried about the venue, maybe you should have committed the crime elsewhere. But this is going to happen in Washington, D.C. And what they're upset about is this judge, Tanya Chutkin. She's been on the bench for about 10 years. She was appointed by Barack Obama, and she's a no-nonsense, very skilled judge. We also know that with insurrectionists from the January 6th attack, she's been very hard on them, harder than any other judge. So she's the exact right person to hear this case with Donald Trump. They're going to spin around and try to delay and all that shit. But Jack very specifically only indicted Donald Trump, specifically to streamline this case. He didn't convolute it with a bunch of other other uh, defendants. They'll come later. Trust me, they're coming later. There will be a lot more defendants. But they wanted to hone in on Donald Trump so they could get him into court get him tried, get him convicted well before the 2024 election. Told you before, Jack Smith knows what the fuck he's doing. He has a strategy, and he knows exactly what Donald Trump and his dumb fuck lawyers are going to do. So he's going to beat them every time. Thing about it is, we've got three indictments and over 75 felony charges uh, against Donald Trump, and we've only just begun. Yeah, there's probably just as many indictments waiting for him. We've got the ones in Georgia, the superseding indictments. To take a phrase from a fellow creator chasing Oz, it's a hot indictment summer.